In 2017, a strange object was spotted in our solar system. It had the shape of a long tube, similar to a pancake. No known asteroid or comet we've seen looks like that. Its exterior was also peculiar. It was at least 10 times more reflective than the average stuff that flies through space, with some saying it had a surface similar to polished metal. When it went past the Sun and left our reach, it accelerated faster than what our gravity could account for. At first glance, it was like this thing had a rocket strapped to its back. This unusual visitor even got a special name, Amuamua. It comes from Hawaiian and translates to scout or visitor from a faraway land. And because of its characteristics, scientists soon began to wonder if this was at last a visit from otherworldly creatures. Before they went full on with the science fiction suppositions, Astronomers gathered the information they were sure about, starting with the fact that Oumuamua must have come from another solar system. There must have been some unfortunate event in its home system that led to its ejection. What they didn't know was that this was a comet or asteroid. They're both celestial objects orbiting a sun, but they have distinct compositions and behaviors. Comets are composed primarily of ice, dust, and rocky material, often referred to as dirty snowballs. When a comet approaches the sun, the heat causes the ice to vaporize, releasing gas and dust particles into space. This creates a bright glowing tail that can extend for millions of miles. Comets generally have elliptical orbits, often taking them from the distant reaches of our solar system closer to the sun. Asteroids, however, are mostly made of rock and metal. In our neighborhood, They are remnants of the early formation of the solar system and are typically found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Unlike comets, asteroids do not develop tails when they approach the Sun, as they have no ice. Their orbits generally follow more circular paths compared to comets. By all accounts, Oumuamua should be a comet, because it seems to come from a different location in the universe. Yet, it doesn't exhibit the typical signs of cometary activity. Oumuamua lacks a tail and does not spew out gas as it passes by, not like me. Even though it behaves like a comet, it looks more like an asteroid. Now, another big question is how scientists even managed to spot Oumuamua in the first place. Considering the vastness of space and time in the galaxy, it's remarkable. Stars have lifetimes spanning millions or billions of years and the formation of a solar system takes hundreds of millions of years. Even the fastest objects take tens of thousands of years to travel from one star to another. In contrast, humans have only been observing the skies with telescopes for around 400 years, a tiny fraction of cosmic time. And it's only in recent decades, even years, that we've had the technology to detect and track fast-moving, dim objects. Either rocks like these are abundant, or we've been incredibly lucky with our detections. Or it's simply wanted to be seen. Now another question that was asked was where such objects could come from. It's highly unlikely that Oumuamua came from a mature, stable solar system. That's because such systems don't eject enough material to fill up the galaxy. Occasionally, a random rock might get flung out but it can rarely travel so far. Young systems, however, act differently. In these chaotic environments, collisions, mergers, and migrations are happening everywhere. Plenty of tiny rocks roam around, perfect candidates for ejection. The solar system that kicked Oumuamua out must have had a planet similar to Jupiter. Its massive size and gravity could influence other objects in the system, causing potential ejections. But not all solar systems develop Jupiter-sized planets. Often, massive planets end up close to their stars, becoming hotter versions of Jupiter. These planets, snugly orbiting a sun, are less likely to eject debris. Now, Neptune-like planets may play a role too. While not as massive as Jupiter, they tend to call the outer regions of solar systems their home. Our solar system has the Kuiper Belt, a reservoir of comets in its outer reaches. During a solar system's early stages, interactions between Neptune-like planets and debris are common. Finding Neptune-like planets in other systems has been challenging, though. Our methods for detecting exoplanets work better for massive objects close to their stars, making it difficult to spot Neptune counterparts farther out. 
Oumuamua was also linked to a peculiar theory about how life came to be in the universe – panspermia. Now that's a hypothesis that suggests that life exists throughout the universe and can be distributed between planets by various means, such as asteroids, comets, or even spacecraft. It says that life must have originated in one location in the universe and then spread to other celestial bodies. Fans of the panspermia theory have suggested that such interstellar objects could potentially carry tiny microbes, those building blocks of life between star systems. If such objects were to impact a planet or a moon, they could transfer these materials and seed the celestial body with life. For now, there is no evidence to support the theory that this comet in particular has transported life between star systems. After years of research, the overall consensus became that Oumuamua was indeed a comet. The reason why it moves so strangely is because it might have frozen hydrogen on its surface that reacts when touched by sunlight. The closer it got to our sun, the faster it became, releasing that hydrogen and also changing its path to our solar system. Its color also supports this theory. It's red, which might mean it's been hit by cosmic rays for a long time. The longer it was touched by those rays, the more hydrogen it gathered in the process. But since they can't be completely sure, astronomers have a plan to follow this visitor. One idea is to send a mission to check it out. It's already far away from us, but it may not be too late just yet. We may be able to send a probe fast enough to catch up with the comet. The plan was named Project Lyra and aims to use the Earth's orbit and that of Jupiter to bounce out a probe far enough to reach Oumuamua. If it works, it will be the fastest space device we've sent out in the universe. One potential trajectory of the space probe involves the gravitational pull of our planet and that of Jupiter as a lasso effect, but not Ted Lasso. The probe will leave our planet and re-enter Earth's orbit before sending it to meet with Jupiter's pull. It will be sent back near our planet a second time, where it will be ejected with enough force to reach the comet. Project Lyra also aims to follow a second faraway visitor named Borisov. This one was discovered by an amateur astronomer and now bears his name. What's interesting about it is that it's, well, spotless. Similar to our experience with Oumuamua, we haven't seen anything like Borisov before either. Studies of the light coming from its cloud of dust and gas show it's very clean compared to other space objects. After it was first noticed in August 2019, astronomers studied its path through our solar system and concluded it came from another star too. But Borisov gave us more time to study it because we spotted it earlier in its journey through our neighborhood. Researchers used advanced telescopes to look at the dust coming off Borisov. They found it's throwing off over 400 pounds of dust every second. They also found Borisov has more carbon monoxide than comets from our solar system usually do. But the amount isn't the same everywhere on the comet. This tells us the space object probably started forming near its home star before moving away, maybe because of larger planets in its system. The light from Borisov is way more polarized than light from other comets we've seen, and its cloud is super smooth. This tells us Borisov has never interacted with another star. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.